Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video, I'm going to go over some animation techniques. To begin with, I'm going to show you one with just using a basic display. For the basic display, what you have to do is you have to load in a bunch of images and then you just cycle through the images. It's not the best because the basics also have limited memory. But it's the same method you would use for the basic, the discovery, um, the enhanced, pretty much all of them except for the intelligent. So what I'm going to do is over here I'm going to add some pictures. And I have a whole bunch of the Cheap Controls logos and then I just have them in different um, rotational so they'll look like it's spinning. But what I also did was for the first image, this D0 I'm calling it, where they're both in the normal orientation. I have one that's set up at 100 by 100 pixels, and then all the other are 94 by 94 pixels. You can see these are all 94. And I'm going to load the 100 along with the 94s. And I'm mainly doing it now because I want to show you something when we get to the intelligent. And if you use the Shift key, you can select all of them and open them all at once. And then they show over in your pictures and you can see as I, it kind of looks like they're spinning there now because I'm, I'm just scrolling up and down. And you can see each picture has an ID. So when you add the picture element on the screen, you just have to orig originally assign it an ID. And we're going to give it the picture ID of zero. So now we have this picture in here and it's assigned to zero. And then we have all these other pictures over here. Now the other thing is when I brought them in, I had them all named in a way so that they would load in the order that I want them to, to be loaded in. So they'll rotate the correct way. So if I go back to these images, you can see that I have um, D0, D15, and these are the degrees of rotation, D30, D45. So that way they're in the right order in this folder. And then when I imported them, it brought them in in that order. If you had, if you imported them out of order, it would act poorly. So you have to pay attention to that, or you'd have to grab the one you want and load it in one at a time. Now for this tutorial, I want to have it run where it spins. I want to be able to pause it so it will sit at the position or at the rotation that it is and then hit run and it will start from that location or from that rotational point. If I hit stop, I want it to go back to this zero orientation where it hasn't, where it's like at the beginning. And then I have this bar down here, which will control the speed. And I have this timer set up with this code and I have 23 pictures over here. So you can see the last ID is 23. And so it's going to increment it. If it hits 22, it has to be greater than 22. So when it hits 22, it'll increment it to 23. The next time through this loop, if it's greater than 22, it'll set it back to zero. Now for the run event, all we need to do is we need to enable the timer. For the pause event, all we have to do is disable the timer. On the stop event, what we'll have to do is we'll disable the timer, but we're also going to set the pick equal to zero. So that way it jumps back. So whenever we hit stop, it will jump back to the first picture. So let me go back to the timer. As long as it's not 22, we're going to increment the picture counter or the number that we're on or the ID because it's actually the ID of the picture. Otherwise, we'll go back to zero. I'll show it to you in the run in the debug. Oh, and also I picked that one picture that was a little bit bigger for the first one. It was 100 pixels, and you can see that it leaves this effect. And then when it hit, when it gets all the way around, it changes. And what I didn't show you was the code for this. So by doing this, I just changed the count on the timer so it can speed up and slow down. For this HO, the slider I have, 
all I do is I change the value in here to show what I'm at just for um, debugging purposes but then I change the timer o time to the value that's on this slider and that's how I increase and decrease the, the speed of the timer now for that image we'll go back over to these images And this first image here was the larger image. This button right up here will replace that image. And I have this one set up here that is 94 by 94. So now when I run it, you see that it runs smoothly. So it is kind of important to have all of the images that you're going to use in this to be the same size. So for the basic display, what you do is you just load a whole bunch of images in and then you just cycle through those images. It works pretty well as long as your images are small and you have enough memory in your display. Now I'm going to move on to the, or the intelligent display. Now for this display, I have the same buttons, run, pause, and stop. I don't have a timer for this because you just set that up when you create the movie, the speed at which it goes. And what you have, and I didn't show it, when you click on these tabs, actually I'll pull it up real quick. And back on that basic, when you click on these, it says this device does not support this resource. And so you can't do movies, videos, or audio on the basic display. Really, I don't believe you can do any of these three on any of them other than the intelligent. But on this one, you can see that you can select those. But in order to have a movie to put here, we have to be able to add it up here. But we have to create it first using this tool up here, this GMove Maker. And what you do here is you add the pictures that you want and it will create it. So you insert the pictures or you add the pictures. And then once again, if I were to pick this one and this picture and open them, you can see that they're not the same, that they're not consistent, the resolution which or the size. So you have to pick ones that are identical in size. So I'm going to delete this one. So I'm going to grab this one, which is the 94 by 94. And then I'm going to grab all the other ones. And once again, you can use the shift key, to select them and then open. And once again, if you scroll through them, it kind of gives you the effect of what it's going to do. And then down here, you set your speed in milliseconds. So it's going to cycle through these frames every 50 milliseconds. So I'm going to go ahead and output this file down here. And then you have to name it something. I'm just going to name it test. And save it. And you had to pick where you wanted it. In my case, I just put it, I just put it on the same location as my pictures. So now I can close this, I can close this, and now we're on this G move, we can add it. It's in that same directory. So now I have this movie. So now you have to come down here and add your G move. And just like a picture, you have to go down here and hit this vid and select the one you want. You can use the browse if you want, but I know there's only one in there and it's ID to zero. And now for each one of these, we'll affect that GMO and we're just going to enable it for run. But enable it actually has three states. So I'm going to delete this. And if you come over here, you can see that zero is stop one is play and two is pause so it has the pause built into it so we're going to make the run equal to run 
we're going to make the pause, the pause, which is equal to 2, and we're going to make the stop equal to 0. So now when I run this in debug, it's going. If I pause, you can see that it pauses it wherever it is. If I hit run again, it goes. But if I hit stop, well, that wasn't a good one. It actually paused here. Now if I hit stop, it sets it back to the run. So Nexion does have a way to take a bunch of images and create a file. And create a video file like this and then add it onto your screen. So that's another way to do it. But you have to use this tool up here, this GMove Maker. But it will only work with the, with the intelligent display. And like I said earlier, I'm hoping to, I've got something coming in the mail and I've been doing some research. I'm hoping to show another way to create an animation for the display, an actual GIF. But there's going to have to be a trick to it. It's not going to be easy. And but I, I do want to show it because I think people would be interested in seeing it. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.